Hello everyone. Welcome to our second episode of Mastery Emotions with Ruby and Charu. In this episode, we are going to talk about mental health and emotional intelligence. Hello Charu, how are you? Hi Dr. Ruby. I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. You look a bit sad today. Is everything okay? Oh, is it visible from my face? Oh, yes. I can I am really overwhelmed right now, you know. After reading so many news of the reports about suicide, the reports about violence, domestic violence, so much happening around, it's getting overwhelming for me. So I was just thinking today, there has to be some solution. And media is just reporting about the incidences. We are having talks in, uh, around television that, okay, there are experts who can help, but there has to be some solution. Such reports about suicides by people who are at so young age is very disturbing. Because I think they are setting a very wrong example in front of youngsters. That if some challenge comes in life, there is no other solution. I mean, it's not like that, right? We never got such upbringing in our life. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. in present scenario, the young generation who is taking the step and they are not finding any solution, I consider mental health is getting a big issue in society. And there has to be done something. Some action has to be taken. What's your opinion about it? I completely agree with Charu. It's really a very sad state of affairs what is happening right now. It's, it shouldn't be going the way it is going. Uh, you know, social media should be making things easier for us. You know, it should be having a positive impact that world is becoming smaller. People are getting connected. But on the contrary, the way social media is having impact on people's lives, that is alarming. That's really very sad. Yeah. And especially on mental health, you know, I mean, if you see all these youngsters who are on Instagram, Facebook, um, you know, TikTok, you name any channel, any social handle, you know, the amount of likes is describing their popularity. The amount of likes is giving them that we are popular, we are good. Do you think it's, don't you think it's crazy? I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how much it is impacting mentally and making them happy or sad about it just a like makes them feel that they are valued and no likes or little likes on their post making them feel that they are not popular or they are worth nothing it's very sad very very sad Mm -hmm. i'm I'm really surprised how people are having uh, you know um, a judgment on the basis of these kind of things what what do you think like i mean i'm sure you you are hearing similar cases about these things there when I well. discuss I around, I participate in forums and what I observe when I read uh, so many social media because Women Lines is also many social media and I have to browse through. Suddenly I realized how come the social media factor has become a parameter for happiness? I mean, we never used to be like that. We are waiting for the likes only. We are waiting for the numbers only. And where mm-hmm. all those points have gone from life where the meeting with friends, having a teacup, with friends, going out with family, spending time with each other. These were more important to us and we never cared what's happening over social media. And as we are growing, as we are getting busier in life and so somehow the social media is really impacting a lot, which has to be taken care of because I strongly believe that what is shown over social media is not true. Many times it's happening, people just want to create an image of themselves. They want to show that they're having a very glamorous life. They are very happy. And we know what's happening in their life personally. They Mm -hmm. never want to show the real side of their life, which is so bad and so challenging. It has to be addressed that we have to accept what we are having and how we are living life. And we have to find a solution to come out of that instead of putting time and waiting for all social media parameters to give us happiness, we should find a true measure of happiness through some activity or some engagement. What do you say? Exactly, exactly. I'm, I'm, I completely, what you're saying, you're just, I'm resonating with each and every word that you're saying here, Charu. It's true. Um, I think we as parents or educators or friends, co-workers, be it any role that we are playing, you know, we need to make sure that the people that we are working with, our kids, our partners, our husband, 
whoever we are with we have to see that you know when the person is not behaving the way he normally is when there's a change you know when there's a slight change that we notice that he or she is not the usual self i think that is like an alarming sign we should not wait right. for something bad to happen the right. moment we see a change we should just help we should just ask hey what's up what is bothering you just as i saw your face you know i could yeah. make out you are not in your regular normal self something is bothering you so i think the moment it is this kind of thing we need to just be there for the other person because what is happening is when people are going through these kind of things you know whether it's the likes or whether it's something from uh, you know um, some frustration from work something that they are not able to do or the deadlines are so difficult or uh, you know you are not able to achieve a particular objective it is having an impact on the people there are a lot of cases of stress burnouts people thinking of societal attempts because they are having more things to do than they can take care of very true very valid point i will agree so i think one is the social media of course but the other thing is also your day to day life you know the moment you are having these kind of issues i think we need to speak up we need to talk right. about it me too because what happens is when we are going through it we think i am the only one am i a loser am yeah. i a person who is not able to achieve the results so you know it impacts us so much that we feel embarrassed to discuss and that's what is really bothering and that's what like you know we don't share our bad or negative side with people you know if something good is there we always share on media Thank we you. always talk about it hey this happened my daughter got a job my son is blah blah you know like we share all the good news okay. but all the negative and bad we keep on keeping inside Hi, it gets hi, piled hi. up it gets piled exactly. up you get heavy exactly. with that exactly when when it gets piled up because we are not venting it out it is having an impact on our emotional health a lot because we feel scared we feel especially in countries like india or asia you know people always think what will others say what will Got people it. think what will my friends think if i hear something like this if they hear something like this so i think that needs to change mental health can become better if we discuss if we vent it out with our friends with our so called close people only i'm not saying go open go live and tell guys i'm facing yeah. this problem <laughs> definitely not <laughs> so there has to be a balance where uh, <clears throat> where i think they can they can feel better and lighter you know all these emotional imbalances are always going to be there after all we are humans very true we are life <laughs> is not uh, always green and the challenges exactly. always come exactly exactly and and we are not robots like you know you press robot. happy button so you are happy you press sad button you become sad right. we have our emotional um, you know ups and, ups downs. and downs but when we are going through our down that's the time we need to you know like just connect with that person whoever we see is facing that don't leave him or her in the corner or think oh he'll be fine or she'll be fine it's at that moment they need somebody very really valid somebody point could that somebody really could be point. us yeah yeah i mean i i just think i just think like this because the more we make us ourselves available for discussion i think at that point of time people will feel that there is someone you know someone cares for me someone is my happiness or my sadness is bothering okay. somebody yeah, affecting somebody. exactly very very well said uh, charu it's affecting somebody affecting so i need to do something about it can you can you tell me something an incident in your life when you were very sad and you were looking for a emotional anchor or you wanted something from somebody uh, could could you recall something yeah my in my life a tragedy has happened which i will definitely share with you my there was a sad happening uh, my father passed away just after 20 days of my marriage and that was the toughest uh, time of my life so that was a time when i learned a lot about life like what exactly is life because this was a time my parents were waiting uh, daughter is getting married and everything is fine and they, they are having a time and everything was getting settled and suddenly i am in some other part of the world and i'm receiving this news so when i had this experience and it was definitely long time of challenging time for me you cannot speak 
everything what you're feeling to everybody because it was a newly marriage and you had to adjust and you have to have a new life but internally you know that you are having that uh, challenging time to come up to show your happy face and then you have to work upon yourself so i came across yes things are there having faith in oneself i came across the process of journaling i came across the process of listening to all those speakers around youtube who are sharing amazing content which really empowers you with the right mindset and the knowledge and which helps you it's like a garden to you definitely ups and downs are there and things have happened definitely that was a very sad happening in my life but i really love my father i really respect him a lot and then i asked guidance from him so there was some guidance there was some uh journaling time and listening to the speakers and yes i faced those challenges it was tough for me but i believe things can be done you have to be resilient you have to be determined that and if you have that inner thing in you i think things can be done but definitely suicide is not the solution which i want to request young generation that you have to think before taking any call taking such a big step in life particularly as you have shared that how much important it is to having a presence for somebody in life that presence can create a big difference for anybody so we have to be mindful about how much presence we are giving to people around us whether they are friends whether they are relatives whether they are kids or whoever why not a colleague a little smile asking how are you doing asking twice is it everything fine or not if you're not happy you uh, just seeing the right behavior from the person and the other thing i also want to highlight that it's very important because we have to understand that mental health is getting a challenge and definitely it is considered that there are certain treatments so stigma around mental health has to change going to expert going to counselors is shouldn't be seen as something wrong with the person if it starts from a young stage i am sure people can have that learning from early stage that how they can face that setback because they have some guide in front of them who is guiding that things have not stopped and you can move ahead hmm. problem comes when things are not there you're not aware and then you are blank and thoughts just keep repeating and you take a decision like this so i consider the importance of counselors a lot in present time and people should not think it is bad to go to counselors this can really bring a lot of change in life what do you think exactly. about it very true very true i think it's a very uh, valid point uh, you know you should not think about going to a counselor as a stigma or as something bad or negative yeah. they are experts you know if you're discussing as i said sometimes when we are discussing with our own close circle of friends maybe i feel a bit embarrassed or maybe i feel little um, i'm not 100% giving all the information but if we go to a neutral person a third person like a psychologist or psychiatrist or a counselor so he doesn't know you and you don't know him so you are giving all the information or anything maybe sometimes we are scared to talk about our partners or we are scared to talk about our own children maybe a person is bothered about her or his daughter or son or husband or parents so when you go to such third person you can just speak out without being judged you can say anything and it will really help you because you are venting out correct one you are venting out and two it's out of your system and you feel ah oh, i can just rely on what the other person is telling me now me too so i think we need to change the mindset how people are thinking because the more and more we change the mindset automatically it's going to have a direct impact on our the mental health because mental health is like you know when we feel happy everything is happy everything is good everything feels to be nice but the moment our mental state is little bit ups and downs or little bit imbalance everything starts having an impact we don't like to do our work properly we are frustrated angry you know like there is a lot of um, don't do this don't do that like you know it it shows on our body that language aggressiveness is there that aggressiveness exactly. is there exactly. and this should be noted here i just want to sorry to interrupt you right now but want to highlight one point that we have to be responsible for ourselves so we should mm -hmm. be mindful how our behavior is changing we should be mindful if something wrong is happening which people around us are observing and we are behaving strangely so then we are responsible for our mental health so if we exactly. are taking care about others we have to take care of self which women folk is not doing right now and i when i interact when i read i always found that women are not speaking about such topics between each other they are not discussing such topics they always want to portray that happy face and they want to show that okay everything is fine 
But mm-hmm. to my understanding, things should change. We should stop leading a fake life. We should be real with us. We should be real to our feelings. And if something wrong is going in life, we should be open for discussion and ask for the guidance from some friend or some, uh, maybe your husband or whoever you are comfortable with, you can ask and discuss. Are you coming exactly. across such women across around yourself? Yeah, yeah, of course. A lot of times, uh, practically everywhere when I go, especially when I go on these forums, uh, you know, international forums, uh, there are some women who are very like, it's a cultural thing. Some women, they are very verbal about it. In right. Europe, you know, women are very verbal. If they're not liking something, they just say it openly. I'm not fine. I don't like it. But in some countries, because of cultural barriers, they are not allowed to speak. So when I say they are not allowed to, one is the social way and the other is their own way of thinking, their social upbringing. You know, yes. so if they are happy, they will definitely say that they are happy. But if they are not happy, they will never say it openly because that's the way they are, you know, culturally. All right. So, true. yes, yes, I see these things a lot amongst women, especially when I travel and also around here. Uh, but it's just that, you know, with passage of time, we need to create more and more awareness, you know. So maybe, I mean, viewers who are watching our show, please make sure if there is anything that you look around and see is not the way it was. It looks alarming. It is something which doesn't make you feel comfortable. Do not hesitate. Talk. Because people who are suffering, people who are having, like right now, if you see because of COVID, a lot of people have lost their jobs. Me too. Many people have, like if they were working 30 hours, they're working 10 hours because, you know, there is no need for them to go back to the workplace. So if they are going through job loss or... uh, a problem, you know, related to their workers or related to their immediate, uh, you know, connection of people, they are undergoing or it's a start of depression or start of burnout, you know, because some are working too much, like, you know, our medical people, you know, they are working like crazy. Maybe they also need some rest. So maybe some of them might be going through burnout. They're not realizing because when you're doing something, you're completely involved with it. You know, you give your 100% to it. So make sure guys that please take breaks take breaks do meditation take care of yourself because this is your system this is your network you know network when i say it's the network with your different parts of the body you You can network socially if you are good but you need to network with your body parts as well because if this network is tipsy turvy or there is some problem no one can set it right you know it's you who is the engineer who needs to work on the system to set it right. Right. And when you see someone having any issues, whether it's depression or um, suicidal, or he or she looks very pessimistic, instantly talk to that person and give her or him your support. Because at this time, they need support. They need a concern that I'm there for you. And the moment you say this emotionally, he or she feels like a blanket around him or her. You know, he feels that there is someone who is supporting me. There is a blanket that is covering me against all odds. And automatically, Charu, I'm telling you, such kind of people will feel that they are safe. You know, nothing can change Um, the situation. Yeah, but they feel safe because they are around such people who are making them feel comfortable. I think that love and warmth itself does the magic. Because exactly that's something which increases the level of, of what to say. My lovely friend always says, raise your happy hormones. So we should be always uh, searching the various ways how we can raise those happy hormones for people around us. And we should be thinking and acting about it. How about exactly. you, Dr. Ruby? Have you come across any such incidents in life where it was a setback and you got back again and you started rocking again? Um, yes, uh, there have been a couple of incidents, but the one incident that I would really like to share at this point of time was, um, it was roughly six years ago when, um, you know, the college that I was working, you know, I lost, uh, my, the, the, the owner of the place, he passed away. So I lost my job, you know, oh. so I had to step down, you know, I was the academic dean of that place and I had to step down. So it was a very big decision. Definitely. And it was really a very big decision because I had a lot of things happening and it was like very comfortable having that scenario working in that organization for so many years. But when I lost from being in the top management level to like, you will be there as a lecturer. It was very difficult for me. I felt it's gone. You know, I felt shattered at that point of time. 
exactly and and it was not easy for me to accept that because i was told that you will be there you will be there you're valued you're going to be there but then i was told these are the terms and conditions if you accept you are there if you don't um, so it was a big setback at that point of time it's 6 years ago and i was shattered at that point of time but then i kept on telling myself calm down what worse can go you know you are fine your hands are okay your family is fine fight back so i think it is the resilience in you that makes you fight back and come back very important and look at me i mean i had been in that college teaching 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 for so many years working as a high profile administrator for so many years but i had no contact with the outside world but i think that was like a knock knock on my door to do something else and okay. i would say it was like from a alarm from the god you know i moved from that to now i'm you know i'm on a global level talking to people yeah, uh, speaking at different forums which i had not done it just started i would say last 2 3 years that i started it because it took some time this happened 6 years ago but it i took some time to Build come out. to terms with it yes yeah. exactly so it's a resilience if you believe in yourself you can do anything I but if completely you are weak, if you are weak inside then it's a gone case it's very difficult to you know uh, spring back to action or come back to what you were there in the really? past wow so, such a wonderful discussion today and there are so many uh, takeaways and so yeah people uh, friends i will request everybody be responsible first of all for yourself how is your mental health and give start giving presence to people around and make sure that you see more happy faces around so we can spread happiness around because life is beautiful and there is so much to do so it's really sad to see young generation taking such big steps in life if they are facing any setbacks and they are disheartened and they don't know how to move ahead so we are responsible for them and we have to create this awareness that things can move on and it doesn't stops at one place what do you say dr rupi very true so as mahatma gandhi says be the change you want to see in the world same is the message from ruby and charu be the change be the awesome you because if you believe in yourself if you believe that there is something that is not happening or there is something that needs to change change yourself first be strong speak up and when there is a need to talk to people do talk speak up talk to people make your own tribe and see that you will be very supportive and they will be supportive with you i think on that note charu uh, yep. we, we can just say a very uh, good evening good morning and good afternoon to everyone who has been watching the show with us and Thank i hope so you learn something from watching our show and if there is anything please contact charu or me and uh, see you soon thank sure. you thank you very much thank you thank you